Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So we had some more disappointing data come out of the US yesterday with the latest uh, ISM data uh, coming out worse than expected. And you have seen a bit of a drop off in the, in the global markets and back of the uh, Greek stock market also opening up 23% down yesterday. Um, China again on the back foot and the uh, sell off in the commodity markets continuing on. So the US 30 trading just pretty much bang on 17.561, which is a potential support level, which the lower were reached in March uh, this year and uh, certainly if we break below that you're looking at 17,361 other technicals are relatively neutral and we're trading below both moving averages now the with the latest data coming out of the US there's now more question marks being raised about interest rates uh, and I think that's the, going to be the, the big kind of question mark for the, the US 30 going forward. If they're not going to raise rates sooner rather than later, that could actually be seen as slightly uh, positive for stocks in the short term, and that would cause the US dollar to uh, to, to weaken. Um, we do have ADP, ADP private payrolls tomorrow. Uh, we obviously have non-farm payrolls on Friday, and they are usually, especially non-farm payrolls on Friday, that's going to be a big uh, kind of catalyst for are they going to raise rates or not. Certainly some of the data, yeah, wage, growth, wage growth on Friday was very, very disappointing, one of the lowest in 33 years, and um, more disappointing macro data yesterday as well. So um, there are question marks uh, about that September rate hike, and it's going to be on, off, on, off, all the way until September, I'm pretty sure, uh, and that's currently where we're sitting. So sometimes bad news can be good news, and good news can be bad news when it comes to, to, to equities at the moment. So we'll see how that pans out. So looking now at the UK 100, um, from a technical perspective, you've got three long legged -like candles trying to tip through 6686 with a failure to do so and we've got a sell off this morning uh, UK 100 not quite at the session lows but not far off it obviously commodity right doesn't help um, crude oil is West Texas is currently trading at 4550 it was at 4518 earlier on this morning uh, and that's uh, that's going to cause extra pressure because of all the mining stocks and the, B the heavyweights of BHP and Royal Dutch Shell etc they're preparing for long term low prices on crude oil so that's not going to make things that much easier so moving on to Japan 25 uh, dollar yen uh, 123.87 so it's come off a little bit so people buying the yen selling the US dollar um, we are trading above both moving averages uh, on Japan 25 off the session highs which is uh, not so good this looks a little bit weaker in the short term you've got a high lower high lower high still in the middle of two ranges 28.68 potential resistance 20.087 Potential support. Moving on to um, on to dollar yen, uh, and dollar yen looks to be struggling to uh, maintain any sort of momentum. The closer it is at 124.42, we are a little bit away from those uh, dual moving averages, so there could be potential for this to drift a little bit lower towards here, very much similar to what you saw in Japan 25. And the question is if it will bounce off those moving averages or not, which as you can see are just slowly grinding higher. So you might get a breakout either above 124.42 or below the moving averages. And that's all gonna be very much dependent on traders' viewpoints on uh, US rates. So switching then on to West Texas crude, you can just see we had a, a three and 3% 3 plus move yesterday again below 45.85 you had Brent trading below $50 for the first time in a while and um, the next potential support after 45.85 is 43.29 I think really if you've been uh, more pedantic about it you're really looking at the tip of this candle here so probably closer to $42 is the next potential support so I guess the question is will 45.85 now which was one support now act as potential resistance this could be an interesting pivot level depending on your own views on where West Texas is going next so looking at gold, um, again all over the shop, negative day yesterday, it's bounced again higher today. We're trying to wait for a close either below the bottom of this potential symmetrical triangle or above it. Uh, and obviously the onus is a little bit more negative at the moment. Obviously it depends on the next draft of US data. So ADP private payrolls today I think will be more keenly watched than ever. Usually it's not a great precursor for non-farm payrolls, but I think traders are just really looking for any uh, additional evidence as to um, the state of the US economy, what the Fed is likely to do. It does feel a lot like in the backdrop of everything else that's going on that a rate hike by the Fed just seems to be unrealistic. But it's not historically it's not it's not impossible uh, based on um, what they've done before. The Fed has raised rates just for the sake of raising rates before at a time where it wasn't really that um, that viable to do so, but they just did it just to 
kind of put that out there that they are willing to do it and that they have to do it at some point and obviously it gives them a little bit more wiggle room should they need to cut it again in the future so it's not beyond the realms of possibility that they still will raise rates in September, even in the backdrop of everything else that's happening with the China slowdown and everything else. But um, it's just worth bearing that in mind. I think it has been about 60 years since they've actually done that, but they have historically done it. So um, moving on to euro dollar and cable to finish things off. So euro dollar is completely flatlining now. I think we're just waiting for a little bit more uh, macro data before we form, form a view. Cable's not that much better, so there's not really anything to look at here. We are trading still below both moving averages in the middle of two ranges, everything else that we normally talked about. And then if you have a look at cable, uh, oscillating around 156, again, nothing really to talk about there. So, economic data wise, um, nothing major out today. Wednesday gives you a whole another raft of uh, PMI data, this time from HSPC at Market Serve. Then we do have retail sales from the Eurozone, uh, NADP private payrolls, trade balance in the US. Um, PMI, ISM data from the US and um, petroleum distillate stocks, um, which obviously be keenly watched for West Texas. Last week it came in uh, much lower than expected, so that, that actually gave a, a bit of a, a short term boost for West Texas crude. Let's see if that continues on. Actually, let's go ahead and Thursday you've got German industrial orders, Bank of England NPC minutes. And uh, that's pretty much your lot. So not a huge amount of economic data, to be honest, uh, until you get to Friday where you have your um, the, the non-farm payrolls. But ADP private payrolls tomorrow will, as I said, will be probably more likely, uh, more keenly watched than usual um, for, for clues as to uh, what the Fed might do next. So as ever, guys, keep your eyes on the chart forum. Make insights part of your layer going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.